This is a brief overview of our paper, How Does Batch Normalization Help Optimization, to appear at NeurIPS 2018. Batch normalization is a widely used technique which is known to greatly help optimization in deep neural networks. Using batch norm leads to faster convergence and also lets us use higher learning rates than we can from non-normalized networks. So it's no wonder that batch norm has gained tremendous popularity in deep learning and has become an integral part of the deep learning toolkit. So how exactly does batch norm help optimization? It's believed that batch norm helps by alleviating something called internal covariate shift. The idea here is that constant changes in a layer's input distribution caused by updates to previous layers makes optimization hard. Batchroom tries to reduce this effect by controlling the mean and variance of layer activations. So what does internal covariate shift look like in practice? In networks with batchroom, distributions look pretty good, as we'd expect. But when we remove the batchroom layer, the distributions... Well, actually, they don't really look all that unstable either. And it's not just eyeballing. In our paper, we measure the change in gradient caused by concurrently updating previous layers. And even then, normalized networks show no reduction in this notion of covariate shift. So is batch norm really about reducing internal covariate shift then? In fact, what would happen if we manually added internal covariate shift to batch normalized networks? Specifically, what if we explicitly added noise to the mean and variance of the layers after normalization? As we'd expect, Adding this noise introduces even more internal covariate shift than exists in the unnormalized network. So what happens to training now? Does this eliminate the advantage that batchroom provides? Turns out that even after introducing the synthetic noise, batchroom still greatly improves optimization. Our findings so far cast some doubt on the relation between batchroom, internal covariate shift, and optimization. But batchroom does work. So can we understand how batchroom helps optimization? What if we take a step back and start from first principles? Specifically, let's look at the optimization landscape induced by batch normalization. Let's say we're at some point in our training and our parameters have value xt. Taking a step in the gradient direction leads us to the next parameter xt plus 1. In our experiments, we consider moving along this direction and we look at the variation in loss and in the gradients themselves as we vary the step size. We find that in all of these aspects, batch norm seems to have a really significant effect on the optimization landscape. By looking at the gradient update that batch norm induces, we can actually show that batch norm has a provable beneficial effect on the optimization landscape. Our results lead us to conclude that the roots of batch norm success may be in its smoothing of the optimization landscape. There are a lot more questions to ask here though. For example, can the smoothing be done directly to get better normalization? How does batch normalization help generalization? In general, we hope that our analysis provides motivation for us to critically and precisely evaluate the entire deep learning toolkit. Thanks, and see our paper for more details.